Hey guys, Panther 0822 here. But then I get into something we haven't done in a really long time. And get into the den time. I uh, hope everybody's having a fantastic Wednesday. I'm gonna get this shirt out here real quick and then we'll get started. Although I might change to a different set of headphones because these ones are... They're odd to listen to, honestly. Tony actually took that picture. Yeah, I had to do... Uh, I needed a headshot for my audition for the Colorado Renaissance Fair. Uh, about two-ish months ago. So...
I can't say the other vlog anymore because it's been a while. Uh, and I gotta be honest, I'm not entirely sure what, what to talk about. Um, one, because it's been a long time since I've done this. Um, and two, unfortunately, because of the MS, my brain kinda shoots some thoughts. It, it vetoes some thoughts out.
the best that I've been rewatching um uh NCIS. Fantastic television show. If you guys haven't watched it, I would encourage you to watch it. It's a really good series. To my knowledge, it's still actually ongoing. There's still 14 seasons. I think they're doing 15 or wrapping 15 up. Um, but anyways, it's it's got some moments where it has me kind of uh, some of the one particular character has kind of an odd relationship with her dad, and it's kind of had me thinking. And I uh, actually reached out to my stepmom. I uh, honestly had no idea if she even saw the message. She hasn't responded to it, so I, I just, honestly, I have no idea. Um, but their relationship is, is kind of an odd relationship. And there's actually two characters that have kind of an odd relationship with their dad. I don't really have a relationship with my mother, and a lot of that is because I just don't trust her. Um, she's just, I don't trust her due to some things that have happened in, in the past, um, some legal things, and I don't trust her, and I, and I really just don't want her in my life in a lot of ways because she's disrespectful to my wife, and I, I don't really take people who are disrespectful very well, and if you're disrespectful to my wife, I, for the most part, will exile you out of my life, because I won't tolerate it, I just, I think if you're being disrespectful to somebody's spouse, regardless of it's husband or wife, if you're being, if you're that dick who's just being disrespectful, you need to stop, or you need to remove yourself out of people's lives, because they eventually, you'll eventually hit a line that you, you'll eventually hit a point of no return to where they're just going to go get out of my life and I don't ever want to see you again. And you're going to be like, oh, what, what are you doing? I feel like you've been disrespectful to my wife for X amount of time, and this last time was the last, was the last straw. So, there's the door. And... If it hits your ass on the way out, so much the better. Um... So that's kind of kind of why I don't have my mother in my life is because she's disrespectful to my wife, and I really don't want somebody in my life that's going to be disrespectful. Um, it's a conversation that I've had with her on on occasion. It's a conversation I'll probably need to have with her yet again, which annoys the hell out of me because I really don't. I don't like having the same conversation with people. Um, I tend to beat the beat the dead horse well beyond the point of recognition of the dead horse. <laughs> to which my wife and, and my brother-in-law can attest to as far as that goes. But I really, I really don't like telling people the same thing. 15 times. If you didn't get it the first time, I can mildly understand because of my disabilities. But after the fifth time, that's when I start going, dude, you're not getting this, and at this point, I'm not going to talk to you about it anymore because it's a waste of time. I've explained it to you four other flipping times. But you're right out of your ass. Do what you need to do and get the fuck out of my life. So, that's a conversation that I've had with, with various friends of mine, my friend Jimmy, I had that conversation with, I actually kind of talked about that, um, not too, a while ago, but there was a time where my wife, uh, not my wife, my, my, my buddy Jimmy, Jim, I, grew up, I grew up with Jimmy, Jimmy's my childhood friend, um, I've known him at this point for 20 plus years, um, we're both in our 30s now, so, I mean, but there was a time where he was referring to women as bitches and hoes, and I flat out told him, it's like, dude, you know what? You need to clean your shit up, or you can't be around me in my life. And he decided to step out of our life for a while, and then he cleaned himself up. And actually, I'm really proud of him, because right now he's working, he's going to college, and he's, he's doing fantastic. So, I'm really proud of him. Um, he's a little bit hard, he's always been hard to get a hold of. Um, cause there was a show 
best at actually writing things properly. Um, a lot of times I have to actually have my wife go through, re read through, and actually rephrase some things, because a lot of times the way that I write things doesn't make sense to other people. It makes sense to me, but it doesn't make sense to the person I'm trying to communicate to. So that's kind of an issue when you're, when you're writing, and you know what you're writing, but when somebody else is reading it, they're going, what the fuck are you trying to write? What are you trying to say? I don't get this. That's not a good thing. So that's why I have, I have the wife go through and, uh, and check my grammar and whatnot. So it reminds me, I've got, looking over here, I've, I've got a bookcase that's over right here on my left hand side. And, uh, I, I, uh, Trevor was encouraging me to actually, uh, release the, um, see, there's the veto right there, um, was encouraging me to actually release out the, uh, the, the story that I wrote, which was a, uh, it, it, it's a fantasy series, and I know I've talked a little bit about it, but basically the, the general concept is that, um, or at least the, the, the originally I wrote it as a Star Wars story, and my dad being also supportive told me the market was oversaturated and it was a waste of time. So, a little frustrating, so what I decided to do is I decided to rewrite the story Because in, in, in literature, the, the realm as far as mentalists and people with mental abilities is not been a very heavily hit upon subject. And honestly, it's probably more hit on than, than I know because honestly I'm not that big of a reader. And a lot of that is because of the brain damage and the brain damage makes a... Uh, disability. So, there are times where I'm going through that I'm reading a book and I just don't get it. I'm having a comprehension issue. <clears throat> so, I, um, the, the reality is, is there could be a lot more books out there that actually are a fantasy book that are based on mental abilities that I'm just not aware of just because I'm, I'm, I'm not heavily into the market. And I could probably actually look up
website. It's it's a Wix website that honestly I haven't done anything with in quite some time. Um, the last time I did anything with it was back in Washington, so that was almost two years ago now. Um, but I've also got a buddy of mine who does web design, so I might actually talk to him and um, and uh, and see if he'd be able to, uh, be willing and able to to help me out as uh, as far as that goes. So. So, yeah. Anyways, I just, again, I really wanted to get in front of the camera. I haven't done anything as far as a vlog goes in a while. I'm, I'm constantly doing the, um, the, the Let's Play things. I've got a schedule where I'm doing it uh, Monday, Tuesday, Monday through Wednesday and Friday. Um, that's what I'm doing. And initially, I was kind of doing a couple streams earlier in the day. Um, it was like two, two of the days, like Monday and Wednesday, I was doing streams at like one o'clock in the afternoon and then um it's like tuesday and friday i was doing streams at like six o'clock in the evening trying to vary vary it so that there were two different things and i've kind of gotten to a point where most of the streams i'm actually doing more in the evening and i'm doing them more in the evening so that um more people can actually watch. It's like, I, I know in today's world, people have different days off, and, and things like that, so, um, it's, it's one of those things where I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some experimenting, I'm trying to find some things, I'm trying to find, like, a schedule that works for me, that, that's functional, that I can consistently do, um, I'm having a little bit of a hard time hitting that 6 o'clock time as far as some things go, so, um, and that actually reminds me I need to change something. I apologize, but with my MS, it's one of those things where if I don't do it, um, when I'm thinking about it, I tend to forget. So, um, I might as well do it now while I'm thinking about it, because otherwise I'll forget. I don't want to forget. So, anyways, um, I set it at 8 o'clock on today a while ago, and I set it that way because I, I had something that was going on and I needed, I needed to move it to a later time in the evening so that I'd be able to get to it. So, uh, and I just forgot to move it back to 6 o'clock. So, um, that's kind of weird. I've got a grab down in my thing. It says, uh, three said ready. It says, why would I subscribe to my, myself? Because technically you can't subscribe to yourself. I don't know. Oh, excuse me. Um, I do know that if you are part of Twitch Prime and you pay the membership, you can gift one free sub to a person. 
and I'd like to figure that out, because honestly, I'd like to give that set to, to my wife, because it, that's where I think that belongs. Um, so... Anyways, um, but yeah, no, the wife was part of the competition, and unfortunately, almost got burned. Pretty bad because of some things that happened, and so I made a video in regards to it, and I sent that video over to a person that can either decide to let the video die with him or send the video um, on to the appropriate people. So, anyways, I'm gonna call this here. The wife is calling, so peace out, guys.